Welcome to my channel. My name is Brian and today's project is going to be making replacement pins for this mini compact bender. The uh, dies I have here, that's kind of, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video, but it's it's been bent and it's got a lot of nicks and, and I'm not sure if you can buy these from the vendor. So what I decided to do is try to make my own. So today I'm going to take a piece of half inch rod that I cut to quarter, one and a quarter inches long. And then I bought dowel rod. This is a quarter inch diameter by two and a half inches long. I bought these from McMaster Car. They're fairly inexpensive. You get a box of 10 for probably about $10. And so what I'm gonna do is need to space this up a little. I'm gonna use this tool to help guide this thing. So I'm just gonna put a nut down in the bottom here and guide it in there. Get it to lay flat on the bottom and then put put my piece of rod in there and then I'll take a my just a half inch uh, shaft collar and put on there and then take the transfer punch as just basically a half inch rod with a point on it and use that to help guide the punch to the center. Just give a small tap. Okay. Now you have a center mark that you can use. My next step is to take it to the drill press. I'm going to attempt to drill a straight hole through this piece of round stock. Now normally I would use a, a lathe to cut this, but I wanted to show you how you could do this if you just only had a, a drill press and not a lathe. I have my pin secured in the vise and I have it centered. So if I'm going to take the center drill and just Got to put a little mark down in there to center it up. I'm going to take my first pilot hole, put the pilot in. The quarter inch hole is drilled in this half inch rod and I have the pin ready to put in there. Now this is seems to be pretty tight. Now if if your hole ends up being fairly large, you can always put a little bit of epoxy in there just to hold it. But but the idea I had on this was to have a pin that if I snapped it or I bent it or damaged it, I could just press this pin out of this piece of half inch rod and just install a new pin in there. So I'm just going to take and just tap it in there real easy. Kind of hard. Okay, it's flat to the bottom. It's in there. Appears to be pretty straight up and down. We'll put it in the tool and then we'll, we'll go over to the big vise and put it in there. We'll try to make a bend with this new die that we just made. I have just a piece of 3 16 inch round stock. I'm just going to put a bend on that, bend it around. For this video, I made a uh, quarter inch die for this machine, but these dowel pins come anywhere from a sixteenth of an inch up in increments of sixteenth of an inch. I think some of them are 30, 30 seconds of an inch. So in theory, you can make a die that's a sixteenth of an inch in diameter. You may have to uh, be careful bending something with it, probably break. 
If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Um, send comments. I'll try to reply to any comments. I have another project on this that it's an attachment that was included with my machine, but I don't see it included on any of the newer machines. So try to make that attachment part for this machine also. So look for that in the future.